things. Hedgehog Brothers Coffee. Wood. Hmm. Strange. It says a no ad how missed. Well, but the tap can still be used. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Everyone calls me Spitzbeck. You need to be formal with me. By the way, in case you're wondering, I'm a Sussex. Oh, I, I didn't know that. The way you're fat, it looks like you're ready for some adventure. I'm an adventurer and scientist. And on my latest expedition, I will travel the seven seas to document the differences in their flora and fauna. at all the maps in my backpack. The beauty of nature is manifested in its subtlest, most delightful way in these loving records. Yes, I'm on an enormous adventure, and it begins here at home, in our humble cold water brook. Oh, that sounds exciting. But why aren't you on your way? That much ocean must take an awfully long time to explore. Tell me about it. I wanted to complete the first leg with a traditional mousewood leaf boat. I ordered it from the Hedgehog Brothers. They are the most talented and reliable craftspeople here in the woods here. All they had to do was float the boat down the cold water brook to me. But I've been waiting here for a while now. Say, you wouldn't happen to be heading to the pumpkin patch on the edge of town, would you? If you could ask about my boat at the Hedgehog Brothers workshop, you would be doing me a big favor. No problem. I'll take care of it. Are you the Hedgehog Brothers? Yeah, we are. How can we help you? I'm Jerry, Magician's Apprentice. Mr. Spitzweg sent me to ask about his boat. Ah, oh, Spitzweg's probably been waiting at the catfish barrier for hours. Unfortunately, our tools have disappeared. They were brand new. I bet there's a green hat behind it. Ah, don't be silly. Our dad told us about green hats. We were four years old. So, they run around nicely, they're invisible, they sting tools, and they open up drafts and cause you to catch a cold. It's a fairy tale. And all those little footprints everywhere, well, they're a fairy tale, too. I'll take a look around for your tools. Thanks. That'd be a big help. <laughs> Oh, something's there. A little green man with a hat. I knew it! We've had a green hat in the house after all. Ah, where the snakes take me, dolly cats and fly specks. Hail and mud puddles. He can see me, but not if I hold me breath. The little man in green. There he is again. Ah, first at the hedgehogs, and now here. You've got the wrong man. I've done nothing. 
confounded Felice. Ah, I mean, go to the weevil, cursed constable. He's gone again. He seemed pretty angry. Find me here. There he is again. Stop. Ha! I'm standing on a shamrock. It's magic. Gives me strength. I, I can do whatever I like here. He got away again. I don't want to put up it. Johnny Cox and Fly Specs. Leave me in peace, you brat. You'll never get me shamrock. No, I just don't care. Instead of following the little guy, I could try to block his way. That doesn't need to be sweetened. I saw the thief, a little green man with a hat. I knew it! We've had a green hat in the house after all. I even heard him. But how can you see a green hat? I'm a magician's apprentice. Oh, my goodness. Then I bet you can help us. I'll take a look around for your tools. Thanks. That'd be a big help. The little man runs over the rock to protect himself, and then he disappears. Quite obviously, with the help of magic. What a sturdy looking rake. It probably belongs to the Hare family. It could come in useful. Hey! Hey, you! What are you doing with our family rack? Oh, uh, uh, I'm just borrowing it for a moment. Last night, the wind blew all these leaves onto our lawn. Oh, yeah, all right. Oh, off you go. Those leaves aren't going to rake themselves. Somebody's shirking dish duty. I'm meditating. <laughs> Rose hips are cool, but disappointing. a cunning plan, and it might just work. There he is again. You've got the wrong man. I've done nothing. Confounded, Felice. He's gone again.
The leprechaun will pop up at any moment. And then... Hedgehog Brothers. They'll sure be glad to get their tools back. To the edge town. To the Hedgehog Brothers. Johnny Cox and Fly Specs. Leave me in peace, you brat. You'll never get me Shamrock. Your tools. Terrific. But as long as the green ant is still around, I'm not happy about finishing building the boat. Me neither. Please make it go away. No, I'd better be careful with... Blue juice, tasty and blue. A quality product from the Wood Dwarves. Is it just me? Or do these statues look happy? off. The cannon has to be ready for the next crow attack. Imagine a critter like that flying right into the town hall. Again. Usually they fly out the northwest. I have to keep my eyes open all the time. Even at night. There's a big fish flapping its fins at the bottom of the brook. I think it's waiting for someone to open the barrier. The catfish in the water is a ruthless predator, and can get, let's say, rather unpleasant on a bad day. So the barrier is to keep them out of our town. Therefore, I can only open it when the catfish isn't here. to leave that where it is. I want to be a magician. Around here they probably sentence you. <laughs> Empty. Oolie's nightcap. Sleeping box. It says a box across one leaf box. Hmm. I don't have any leaf box. Not even one. It's, mm, I don't have, not even what.
There he is again. You've got to come. He's gone again. A sticker to see your clips open it, check in menu, and click on the bonus menu. You can see into the town hall from here. The old squirrel Jonathan has already seen me. Hmm. He's waving his cane. I think he's afraid I'll climb in through the window and walk all over his books. I'd never do that. At least, not while someone's looking. Hello, Mr. Church Mouse. Oh, it's you. The boy with the hat and the tight purse. What? Church Mouse. 